viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Car Vlog India. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walk around of the exteriors and interiors of the Mahindra Riva E20, which has been launched today in New Delhi, India. I'll quickly show you the exteriors first, and let's uh, get inside and show you the interiors. Let's get started. The E20 looks quite stunning from the exteriors. As you can see, it looks like a very futuristic car. One thing which is unique to the design element that is that it's a two-door car. It's not a four-door like we are used to seeing on Indian roads. It comes in only one variant, and that too comes feature-loaded with all top-of-the-line uh, features. Let me start with the front face here. On the front, you have a large grill over here with Mahindra branding. In the middle, there are projector headlamps, and what you see here are the headlamps. Wrapping up to the sides, there are pronounced wheel arches. So, in terms of design, it has been very well designed. The roof of the car is black in color. In fact, all of the car has been in dual tone. So, if you see their use of black color outside rear view mirrors and body color bumper, etc. So, if you go for a green one, you will get black and green combination. So, it's a combination. You also get alloy wheels on this car. The front brakes are disc brakes. The rear one are conventional drum brakes. The side profile looks compact and quite easy and nimble to maneuver. And the rear, you get these LED tail lamps, and there is Mahindra branding at the boot door over here. And there is there is high mounted stop lamp in the windshield over here. This is how it looks from the outside. Let me take you inside and show you how it looks from the interior. Since it is a two door, if you have to enter the second row, you have to recline the front seat. For that, there is a one touch button over here, just next to the seats on both the sides. You just push it like this and the seat retracts as well as moves forward, making way to enter the second row. Let me first enter the second row and tell you how comfortable it is. So right now I am sitting at the second row and it does not feel bad at all. My feet are away from the front seat. If I put it back in the position where it was, it is still comfortable for two passengers to sit in the back seat. And while you are sitting in the back seat, you have to come out. You just pull this lever, the seat goes down and retracts, and you can come out easily. So this is how the rear seat looks like. So you can see a full-grown adult sitting on the front seat quite comfortably. There is ample headroom as well as uh, legroom on the front row. So it's fairly comfortable for a full-grown adult. Now let me demonstrate to you how comfortable it is for sitting in the rear seat with a full-grown passenger. So the front driver seat has been now reclined and this passenger is accessing the rear seat. He seems to be quite okay. Yes. And I am retracting the front seat to rear uh, so, as, so as to give a comfortable seating position to the driver. So right now I am in the driving seat and I am 5 feet 7 inches and quite comfortable in the front seat. Let me retract it fully to the back and let's ask the rear passenger how he's feeling about it. Fully in the back it's a bit tight but one, one notch forward is perfect. Okay. Then I'm also very overweight. Okay, so let me adjust it to my sitting comfort at the front. So I'm comfortable 5 feet 7 inches and there is a passenger at the back. Sir, how comfortable you are? I'm right very now? comfortable in the back, now I want to see the driver's okay. seat. Okay, so now just pull it. The seat goes front. Right. <laughs> this, is, this is the driver side door trim as you can see, looks fairly uh, well finished. There is use of plastic fabric as well as some glossy uh, plastic materials over here. There is use of silver linings over the inside door handles. There are some cubby holes etc to keep your water bottles etc. Right now I am at the driver seat and there is a push button start stop over here. The entry is keyless, so it starts stop. As you can see, this is the central instrument console which shows you the uh, charge status and some other efficiency related data. This is the central console uh, with from Mahindra Riva. This is the air conditioning controls over here. Uh, this is the gear knob which runs in reverse, neutral, forward and boost mode. In boost mode, you get some extra power or punch out of it. You have some ports over here. This is for USB and auxiliary input and this is a charging port for charging your phones etc. There are power window controls over here just below the gear knob. 
and this is how it looks from the front seat the air conditioning vents are round and the dashboard is not very deep it has been intelligently designed in a tall boy fashion giving enough head space to the passengers as well as the uh, driver it is very comfortable sitting here in the driving seat let me also show you what all controls are there so apart from the start stop button you have these outside rear view mirror controls which are electrically adjustable from the inside this is the beam leveling system there are some wiper controls on the other side the rear windshield comes with integrated defogger as you can see here there is no wiper at the rear but there is a defogger this is all we have for you on a quick review of the Mahindra Riva E2O. We'll give you a test drive review very soon. Stay tuned. If you like our video, please press the like button below. If you want to receive more video updates, please press the subscribe button below. This is Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.